हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू नसो एकेडमी वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ऑपरेटर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस नाउ वी आर इन चैप्टर नंबर फोर एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड फंक्शंस इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वी विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फंक्शन इन डिटेल्स we are beginning this chapter with this lecture and the name of this lecture is if else statement this is one of the control structure we need to understand so without any further delay let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics the first topic of this lecture is the if else statement first we will properly understand the if else statement then we will move to the second topic to understand the if else if letter after understanding this topic we will move to the third topic to understand the nested if else statement so these are the topics of this lecture let's start with the first topic the if else statement so what is the if else statement the if else statement is the statement that allows us to execute a statement based on the condition if the condition turns out to be true then a specific statement will execute otherwise some other statement will execute so that's the control structure if else statement and this is how it works it executes a statement based on some condition to understand this properly let's consider the syntax of the if else statement this is the syntax we need to follow here we have if and else we can observe we have parentheses and within parentheses we need to specify the condition now if this condition is true then statement 1 will execute that is the statement following if will execute otherwise the statement following else will execute that is the statement 2 will execute we can read it like this if condition is true then execute statement 1 otherwise or else execute statement 2 this is quite simple now let's implement this behavior through an example program here i have included the io stream header file because i am using stdc out inside the main function we have the variable marks defined in this function this variable is of type integer and this is holding value 55 now here we have this if else construct or we can say if else statement here i'm checking this condition is marks greater than 50 if marks is greater than 50 then this statement will execute this means we will get the output you passed the exam on the screen if at all it is the case that marks is less than or equal to 50 that means this condition is not true then the else structure will execute this means this statement will execute and we will get the output you failed the exam now we know this marks variable is holding value 55 therefore this condition is true and hence you passed the exam will be displayed on the screen i hope this is clear to you how this program works now we know the exact meaning of if else and how it works here you might have observed that we have just one statement after if and else this is because we are following this syntax and according to this syntax we are allowed to include only a single statement after if and else that's the point only a single statement is allowed this is according to the syntax but what if we want to execute multiple statements based on a condition we can do that too we need to do a trick in this case we need to form a compound statement a compound statement is a statement which has multiple statements and we can form a compound statement with the help of braces so clearly if we want to form a compound statement 
we need to enclose multiple statements within braces. That's what I have written. So the syntax looks like this. If we want to include multiple statements inside if and else, then we need to put them within braces. Within these braces, we can specify as many statements as we want. This is one compound statement. It is treated as a single statement. So we are not breaking the rule of the if and else. Here inside this if, we can include as many statements as possible because we are enclosing the statements within braces. Similarly, within else also we can include as many statements as we want because we are enclosing all the statements within braces. I hope this idea is clear to you. Now, let's implement this idea. Here I am taking the same example with some modifications. Here, instead of printing just one message, I also want to print congratulations. For this purpose, we need these two STDC out statements. And I am putting these two statements within braces. Therefore, I am forming a compound statement. Now, this compound statement is part of if. If this condition is true, then these two statements will execute. Otherwise, this statement will execute. Here you can observe that after else, we just have one statement. So, this statement is part of else. And according to the syntax, this is allowed. We do not have to place braces over here, although we can. Now, when we execute this program, we will get the output. You passed the exam. Congratulations, because the marks variable is still holding the value 55. I would also like to mention that the else part is actually optional. So, if we want, we can remove this from here. We will still get the same output because marks variable is holding value 55. And in this case, only this if block will execute. But what if the value the marks variable is holding is less than 50 or if it is equal to 50? In that case, we will not get any output on the screen because there is no else block and there is no statement following the if. I hope this concept is clear to you. So, if we include else, then we know that we would be able to execute some statements when the condition turns out to be false. If the else is not included, then there will be no statements to execute when the condition turns out to be false. I hope this is clear to you. So, with this, we have understood the if else statement properly. This means we are done with the first topic. Now, let's move to the second topic to understand the if else if letter. We have already learned that with the help of if else statement, we can check a specific condition and execute a statement based on the condition. Now, what if we want to check multiple conditions? Then we can use something called if else if letter. If else if letter allows us to check multiple conditions and based on those conditions we can execute a couple of statements now here is the syntax we can follow according to the syntax we first need to specify the if condition here is condition 1 if this condition 1 is true then statement 1 will execute which is part of if otherwise we need to check condition 2 here we have else and if. If this condition turns out to be false, then we will move to this specific block and we will check condition 2. If condition 2 is true, then statement 2 will execute. Otherwise, we will go to the next else if block. There we need to check condition 3, then condition 4, then condition 5. In this way, we can continue and follow this if else if ladder. At the end, we have the else block. Now, this will execute when no other condition is true. So, that's the concept. This is the if-else-if letter. Now, let's consider one example to properly understand how to use if-else-if letter. Here is the example program. In this main function, I have defined variable score with value 85. 
and here is the if else if letter i want to check multiple conditions that's why i have included if else if letter here now here i am checking this condition is score greater than or equal to 90 if score is greater than or equal to 90 then stdc out statement will execute and it will display grade a on the screen so if someone has scored marks greater than or equal to 90 then the grade will be a otherwise if score is greater than or equal to 80 then grade b will be displayed now understand what does this mean we know that if the score is not greater than or equal to 90 then this means we need to move to this specific else if if the score is not greater than or equal to 90 then it must be less than 90 this is one thing that is true now if this condition is true then the score must be greater than or equal to 80 and it must be less than 90 so indeed we are checking two conditions at the same time here and based on this grade b will be displayed on the screen if at all this condition is not satisfied then we are sure that the score is less than 80 in that case this else block will execute and therefore grade f will be displayed on the screen so we know what happens when we execute this program here we have value 85 in the score variable this value is less than 90 but it is greater than 80 therefore grade b will be displayed on the screen so with this i hope it is clear to you what is if else if letter and how to use it in c++ program so with this we have understood the second topic also now let's move to the third topic to understand the nested if else statement so what's the concept of the nested if else statement and why do we use it we have understood how to check multiple conditions that too with the help of if else if letter but we know that a specific condition will only be checked when the condition preceding it turns out to be false now what if we want to check a specific condition when the condition preceding it is true in this case we can use nested if else statement nested if else statement allows us to check one condition inside another condition this can be understood through the syntax here is the syntax of the nested if else statement if condition 1 is true then only condition 2 will be checked if condition 2 is true then statement 1 will execute if condition 2 turns out to be false then statement 2 will execute if at all it is the case that condition 1 itself is false then condition 2 will not be checked in that case this else block will execute and this means statement 3 will be executed i hope this is clear to you now let's implement this behavior through an example program let's consider a scenario for this purpose let's say we want to design a program for an atm machine now the requirement is that the atm machine must check whether the card inserted by the user is working properly or not if the card is working properly then we will compare the amount that the user wants to transact with the balance of the account we will check whether the amount is less than or equal to balance or not if at all it is the case that amount is less than or equal to balance then the transaction will be successful we will display the message appropriately on the screen otherwise we will display that there is no sufficient balance to deduct the amount that you want to now if it is the case that the card is not working properly then we will not compare amount with the balance instead we will display some error message on the screen to let user know about this now let's write the program for the same this is how the program looks like here inside this main function i have defined variables balance and amount 
Variable balance is holding value 10,000 and amount is holding 5,000. I'm assuming that the amount user wants to transact is 5,000 and the account has the balance 10,000. Let us suppose that we have the variable card working, which is used to check whether the card is working or not. And here I'm assuming that the card is working. Therefore, this Boolean variable is holding value true. Now here, we are checking this specific condition. Is card working? This means we are checking whether the card is working or not. We know that card working is true. Therefore, this condition is true. If this condition is true, then we know that the code within this if will execute. Here we have this specific block. We have this compound statement. Here we have another if else and here we are checking is amount less than or equal to balance. We know the amount user wants to transact is less than the balance. Therefore, this statement will execute and transaction success will be displayed on the screen. If it is the case that the amount is not less than or equal to balance, then the else block will execute and insufficient balance will be displayed. Now, if the card is not working, then this message will be displayed on the screen that is card error. So, I hope this program is clear to you. And now we know what's going to be the output for this program. The output is transaction success because the amount is less than the balance and card is also working properly. So, we have written the program which demonstrates clearly how to use the nested if-else statement and what is its use. So, with this, we have understood the last topic as well, that is the nested if-else statement. And this means we are done with all the topics of this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.